Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Fatal Frame 3. Last time, lots of stuff happened. This time, hopefully, lots of stuff will also happen. Now, before I go to sleep and actually access the fortress, somebody in the comments, somebody very helpful, told me that there is indeed a ghost doohickey down here that I can take a photo of. But I need to find it, so I'm gonna do that first. There we go! There we go, I found it! What is it? An image of something has been caught on the photo. Somebody was peeping in! Naughty ghosts. Well, with that out of the way, I can finally go to sleep. And hopefully not get murdered terribly. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Please, you tell me. Am I really supposed to be alive? Yeah, me neither, lady. Me neither. Okay. So, um, I saw that room with the rope, the rope, the rope shrine, the rope maiden shrine. I, I don't even know. You know what? The one, the room with the people being torn up. Anyway, I saw that room as being the one uh, in the dream. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run there just as I save. Okay, so it's a good thing that I saved because I've accomplished so much. I like picked up uh, herbal medicines off the, the floor and you know, that's really tough work and junk. All right. Is this room gonna have a Satan in it? Why is there a horrible... Uh oh, there's, there, why is my camera? Not my... There's a Satan, there's a Satan somewhere. Oh, what is that? I wasn't worried. I knew there wasn't any Satan that would dare come at, at me in this. What is going on? Why, why is there still red somewhere? I don't like the looks of the... Oh, please don't tell me it's above me. I don't care. I don't care! Why is it getting so much redder? Stop getting so red. Oh, oh, that was what I took a photo of. Yeah, 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 you better scramble. That's what I thought. All right. So far, so good. There's gonna be a horrible fight in here, isn't there? Who are you and why am I fighting you? I think I jumped the gun a bit. Jumped the shark? Jumped the gun. No! Keep your horrible hands to yourself. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, not again, not again, not again. Okay, tip to self, when you don't see Satan, don't stay in camera mode. Oh god, that was so close. I took that photo by mistake! Okay, three hit combo, that's good enough for me. Um, Satan! Just don't spawn behind me and do your, your horrible thing. Where are you?! Oh, there you are. I wasn't worried. Come on, go red, go red, go red, go red! Ugh. I missed out on a combo shot. Oh, well. 
Wait, where'd he go? No, 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 not behind me, not behind me, not again. He's calm thyself. Okay, like as creepy as this this is, it's nothing compared to the kasabi. Like I don't know what it is about the kasabi, but for the love of everything, I cannot I cannot attack that thing decently. Come on, let me fatal frame you. Well, that worked. Whoosh! I only took one hit. I'm proud of myself. I've got to go back. Go back and forget. But you. Okay, okay, okay. Like. Uh, I should probably head back because because if I go deeper into the mansion then horrible stuff happens right like 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 the deeper I go into the mansion don't I start to combust and forget myself and die but at the same time like I'm I'm curious if I get like a bad ending so I'm gonna gonna see if, if, if I can do this if you follow the dead into your dreams you won't be able to yeah so you know what? I'm willing to do that boss fight again, just to see, just to see if this is a bad ending that I can get. Brother. I am a horrible person. Why did I do that? Uh oh. I did a bad. I did a bad. Please don't be dead.
What? Is that K? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in my dreams only. How long has it been? Ray, there might still be some hope. Well, that was... That was certainly a revelation and a half. Um, I have a feeling that this was going to happen anyway. I don't know, like, I don't feel like they would... Let's read what we just got. Miku has gone. Has she gone to the one she longs for? Her brother? Is her di decision the right one? And for me too? Um, I don't know if I made the right decision, honestly. Maybe I should have ran out. Maybe it would have happened anyway. I don't know. I'm. That's why I rely on your comments to tell me if it was going to happen anyway. But I have a feeling that it probably would have happened anyway. Let's talk to Kay. There still may be hope. This book was left inside the old shrine not far from the Manor of Sleep. It seems to date from a time when the house was known as the Kuze House or the Engraving Shrine. It's not easy to read much of it now, but it has something to do with a ceremony of commandment. Whoa, here we go. The Chosen Maiden is put onto a boat of passing. The boat sways as it is sent to the Kuze Shrine. The living flesh is cut. The tattoos etched in pain of the holly shall be sealed within her. All her love shall be interred into a mirror. This she must break. We read this before, but I'll read it again anyway. Shout her herself, her attachment to this world must be broken. The piercing of the soul thus concludes. Impale her with the stakes of tattoos. <laughs> the rite of commandment must be conducted. Sleeping undisturbed for eternity. Dreaming the endless dream of the rift. Enclosed, entombed in her chamber of thorns. She shall continue to feel the pain of the holly for all time. Well, holy crap. <laughs> this is a book written by a scholar of, folk of folklore named Akito Kashi Kashiwagi about the sleeping priestess, but the same material appears in this book as well. Legend of Song 2 After extensive research on the Mutsu lullaby, the sleeping priestess lyrics was discovered that appear was discovered that appeared to be even closer to the original. The following includes thoughts on how the song came about as well as its meaning. The Sleeping Priestess verse 1. Sleep child, lie in peace, sleep child, lie in peace. If you cry, the boat will ride the last trip to the other side. Once you get their sacred marks you'll bear, they shall be peeled off should you fail to lie still. The words lie in peace in this version of the song seems to connote death rather than sleep. The words sacred marks may be related to their area's legend of the tattoo master. Perhaps in the original religious song it expressed the meaning of engraving a tattoo. The sleeping priestess, verse 2. Sleep child, lie in peace, sleep child, lie in peace. The priest awake from the dream, that's the one we know. After researching various oral traditions, 
Oral? It's Oreo. What the fuck is an Oreo? Maybe it's like an Oreo? Ah. Oral traditions. There is found to remain here the vestiges of a spirit world faith of sending the spirits of the dead to the sea, despite the fact that it is the mountains. This sea may signify the underworld. If the doors are taken as the doors to the other world, then lest the doors will open wide and suffering unleashed on all seems to connote that if the doors to the other world are open, some disaster will occur. This song may have originally related to a ceremony that protected the gate to the other world. The combination of elements such as the title The Sleeping Priestess, The Priestess Waking, Sleep and Laying to Sleep, juxtaposed with the word to pin, lends the meaning of priestess being aided to sleep, in other words, to be put to sleep. A sacrificial property can thus be read into the song. Following is a diagram found in regional documents combined with a legend that seems to be based on, the cer on ceremony and religion. In the center of this illustration, there is a small shrine where engraving shrine is written. The part of the song about tattoo lends credence to the theory that the song may have been sung here. Deep in the engraving shrine, there is a vast sea, the underworld, and the shrine is drawn as a boundary between this shore and the other side. Other shore. The lore accompanying the diagram is as follow. Break fresh skin, engrave the holly, impale the tattoo stake, subdue for eternity to sleep in the rift. Like the song lyrics, the lore can also be read having the same human sacrifice like the aspect of impale, subdue, and sleep. That was a lot of reading! Both of the books indicated that the rite of commandment, or the rite of stakes, by impaling the priestess with the tattoo stake, you subdue her for eternity. The doors could refer to the gates of hell, and now for some reason they have been opened. But if we can impale the priestess limbs with the tattoo stakes, then we may be able to put her to rest. I think the tattoo stakes are some sort of special stakes. They must be somewhere in the mansion. Impale the priestess. I remember you said that he had found a tape with this song recorded on it. Did you happen to hear anything about it? A tape? It may be in his room. I'll go look for it. Or take a look, rather. Okay, well, stuff is happening. Let's let's go let's go see Yu's room. And before I do that, I'm gonna check in on Miku to see if she's okay. Well, I know she's not okay, okay, but you know what I mean. Are they gonna even let me? Sleep, Miku. You are so dead. I cannot interact with Miku. If the Satan wants to eat your head. Yeah, okay, that's really long now. Looks like, like it was, that's obvious, but yeah. Well, sucks to be you, Miku. I know some of you are like worried about if I'll be able to do this because I'm basically picking up all the good film on K. But you know, good game design means that they they figure out that you'll be able to defeat the final boss even if you don't go out of your way to get all the collectibles so don't worry like it's it'll be harder but it's not gonna be impossible so it's not like Resident Evil Zero where at the last boss if you don't have enough ammo you're basically screwed okay um let's head to the room hopefully there's not going to be a Satan there what will we find in Yu's room, and will Kay be able to help? The answer to these questions and more in the next part.